Uh, I'm not even going to read this title out loud, but y'all can read it. I just don't want the potential clip. Okay. Today's TED Talk is why incest should be legal. You guys just need to hear me out. <laughs> she laughing a little too hard. Yo, why she, yo, she connected with that. All right. What the heck is going on right now? What the this heck? is a series where I've done some of the craziest things Damn. with the UK's biggest Damn. prankster, Damn. Nick Amalana. We are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through Damn. or who will fold first. We're doing all this Damn. to answer the question who is the Yo, biggest man? Damn. 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 Hey, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, in regardless to this series right here, I don't think there's a bigger menace than Jid. This nigga is just, I just seen it in person, bro. Like, there's really no limit to, there's no shame, there's no nerves. I swear to God, there's not a thing I could tell him to do that he wouldn't be like, bro, fucking play up, nigga. Let me just go do that right there. I don't think there's a person on YouTube that has the balls that he has, bro. I'm just saying, bro. And uh, maybe I haven't met Nico yet, so I don't know about Nico. But I, I seen Jid in person, bro. <sighs> but he is like, he is that guy, bro. And he tweeted today, chat. Wait, hold on. Let me show you the tweet before we get. Whoops. Let me show you the tweet before we get started. I don't know. This just threw me off. I just got a call that I have a warrant for my arrest in Houston. <laughs> It's not funny, bro. It's serious, man. I don't know what it's for, but hopefully he's okay. Hopefully that nigga's okay. <laughs> Welcome to the double episode, y'all. We've been arrested in Paris, had a two-time world heavyweight champion press us, been arrested at the PGA Tour, and had a racist debate. And no one folded yet. So I knew whatever Nico set up for this challenge, he was going to put his all into making Bucket me hat on, because I'm a real-ass nigga. How you doing, homie? Yo, Lawrence, thank you for four months. Okay, you ready, yeah? Ready. What I'm gonna have you doing today? Wait, first, come on, hard. Oh, that's beating. Oh <laughs> my god, you actually know it. <laughs> so, are you ready for the plan? I'm ready, I'm ready. Do you wanna unveil it yourself? I've decided that the world's driest sport, cricket, needs more excitement. So, the best way to do that is by getting Jid to sneak onto the cricket field in front of thousands of people and make him join the superstar team of India. And from this moment on, <laughs> he'll be remembered as Rahul Jadion. Legend. I have to stick on the field. You got to stick on the field. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is inspired by a man called Jarvo69, who does this literally every single cricket match. So he sent us his uniform. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Listen now, Dijon. I'm going to send you a signal when someone gets batted out. And then that's when you come in as the Indian batsman to save the day. You got it in you, you look What's he mean Indian. that cricket is dry? Yeah, you could definitely pass. Probably no one's gonna bat an eye. I'm gonna hit a home runner, I'm gonna get signed. And... Yeah, and then I'll take 10%. Brody already has me breaking the law in another country that I don't know, and I could get deported. That's light work. So we entered the stadium and I put Jid in the perfect spot to get on the field. All Jid had to do to make this a success- No one watches it? Just stay under the radar. That's simply not true. I India! India! Nobody wants to hop. Hey, my man, represent it. I'm the James Anderson. Like, I don't mean to be hurtful, but is it drier than baseball? Like, do y'all mean how strict niggas are? I saw a nigga do a, a, a light bat flip and he got fined uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Is it is drier than that? Like, you can't even have fun in there? I played it once, but I'm not gonna lie. It was, I didn't play it. I just learned how to play it. In India, just came over to show support, you know? Boo! Boo! So we're here at the stadium. We've got my good friend right here. Sorry, what's your name? Kushan. And you're supporting yeah. India? Yeah, I'm supporting India. Oh, okay. You're going to get smoked. But I heard you got a good batsman. Yeah, I mean, we've got fun playing right now. Rahul Jadion. Sorry? Uh, Jadion, he's a good batsman of yours, right? Yeah, he's a good batsman. I'm looking forward to seeing him. We're in and we're good right now. Vito's saying that some security guards had clocked us already. I'm going to go say what's up. Y'all like the fit? <laughs> Team India all day. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to look a little icy out here. Are you a vlogger or something? No, no, I'm not a vlogger. I actually make um, adult films. Oh, okay. The aim is to meet someone here and then just like make a film together and make love. With Hello. Oh, wow. This is great timing. Nice to meet you guys. So they watch some of my content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you couldn't have wrote that shit better, bruh. You like the cricket equivalent of Ted Lasso? Uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm the cricket equivalent of Peyton Manning. I know how to read the field, big forehead, Hell yeah. I'm white. Hell yeah. Well, I identify as white. But I'm just Team India. Where you from? Where am I from? Bangladesh. Nigga don't yeah. believe you. Nigga do don't believe you at all, today. bucko. <laughs> well, you think you know cricket better than me? <laughs> Is there ever people who like run on the pitch? Nah, they won't. That would be mental. If some like the guy was pretending to be in the Indian team. What we were waiting for was for a batsman <laughs> to get bowled out. So Yo, this thing is such a troll. Off, Jid would be able to walk on and take his place. Over here. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I think I should be out there. War shadow. Oh. 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 Of course. So who do we support today? So my mum and dad obviously born in India. Yeah. I'm born here, so I'm, I'm supporting England. Supporting England? Yeah. So you're snaking your mum and dad? A snake? I'm like, how quick would you discard? Never mind. I was, I had a crazy thought. Kiddo? I'm so sorry. Because if you told me right now, I'd support India. All right, then that's it. I'm supporting India with you then. Come on, India! Come on, India! Let's go, India! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Then the time came for me to give Jid the signal to get onto the field, <laughs> and the question was, would he <laughs> fold or would he pass? No, I'm not saying it, bro. Sometimes yo, yo. you gotta yo, keep yo. inside. Next time someone goes out, that's when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you guys have Mark, that? Uh, where, where are you? We're at Hobgoblin, but to my left, it says bash. It's like some red bash. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Bash, yeah, I, I, I know where you are. So just go on and have ready, everything ready. Okay, good luck, my friend. Appreciate you. Here we go. Nah, Jadion holds yeah, his phone are. like a uh, child. Yeah, they're coming over here. Full-handed. Maybe it was because I was nervous, but it looked like they were adding more security guards in the area that I had to hop over the fence. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna have to <laughs> fold right then and there, off the bat. No pun intended. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Come on, bring up the new batsman! Bring him on! He's nervous! I feel like the bat might bring too much attention. I'm not gonna lie, it would be pretty sad if I let this like stop me. They're gonna like get out there fast. I feel like I'm gonna get arrested. I only have one chance at this. <laughs> right when I hopped Don't over, you. my feet touched the grass. I felt free. I was on the pitch with my Indian brothers. Nothing could stop me. I gotta help them out. Bring him back. We love you. Except for the cricket security team. India! India! The motherland! Chill. My bad, my bad. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He did it. He did it. That's crazy. Bro, this thing is I insane. It when I saw Jid running on the field in that way, number one, like, he's very slow. But also, I was very <laughs> impressed at the fact that Jid was willing to do that. I didn't know he had that in his locker, and seeing him running on the field, it, it really impressed me. You don't have to hurt my arm. You kind of hurt my arm. I'm not gonna do nothing, bro. You kind of hurt my arm. I'm not gonna run away. You just want to pee all over him. I gotta do it for India. Being real with you, my friend, that was my friend who went on the pitch. Good. Yeah. I actually told him to do that. <laughs> So he's probably um, in prison. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a bit silly, isn't it? I thought it was like baseball in America. You thought it was like baseball in America? Yeah, we always run on. You know when they say anyone encroaching on the pitch gets arrested. Nico never relayed to me that I was gonna get arrested. I mean, I thought I was just gonna get kicked out. Bro, that nigga about to get arrested in every country he touches. But the only thing that boosted my morale was hearing the crowd chant, "Jar vote, Jar vote." Look at them. Screaming a man's name that's not even mine, just like my ex. Got hey, he put my hat up. Fucking really yo! You Thank you. No one said that to me. It's also a criminal offense. You are gonna be arrested. Yes, sir. Stop! Stop! We need you guys to hit that like button right now and subscribe up, to my channel for a chance to win a custom PS5. My real plan came into fruition. Get Jid arrested so I don't have to compete in this stupid series. God, I'm annoyed he even challenged me in the first place. Wasting my time. You gotta admit, I was kind of fast out there, huh? Not really, they caught you instantly. I you slowed down. Right the middle. They were kind of slow. If they were slow, they made you look even slower. You had a bat with him. Yeah. No, in case India asked me to bat up, I wouldn't have my bat ready. Was up and yeah. Yeah. It on YouTube, Insta, or and Pub. What about TikTok? TikTok? Oh, Little Nas. Yeah. X. That's a singer. <laughs> Little Nas X. Yeah, I do rap too. <laughs> Got represent for India! Yeah. Got India! Yeah. India! Yeah. India! Yeah. India! Yeah. So, 
Trump. Bro, I don't know how the fuck you could be in front of police in a different country and troll. Like, the type of cojones, the balls, nigga, the gargantuous, rusty, ooh, the smelly, sweaty balls you must have to do some shit like that, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even feel comfortable with police from my hometown. Another country, nigga, you have no idea what they might do to you. Ah, it's, yo. I say that's why I'm not no menace, bro. I'm just a fucking sieve. I'm a, just a regular guy. Well, that's done. Do you have any intention on watching this? Yeah, not really. Nah. Okay, well, it's time to go. It was time for me to leave the cricket stadium and locate Jid just to make sure he was being arrested for a good few months. He's with you, though, isn't he? Because he's the one that's followed you outside. I don't know. He yeah. might just be a fanboy. So who's got your phone? That man there. That man right there. Are we able to get his phone from that one there? He's got to beat him up, rough him up a little bit, you know? The thing is, my favourite player, he got bowled out. To be fair, he wasn't even able to play. Like, they carried him out before he could even do it. Don't try and re-enter. Yes, sir. Because guess what? You're quite distinctive. I'm the only black guy watching cricket, so... so you're, not, you're not the only black dude in there uh, I didn't see any. I didn't but, see okay. but what you are, he's probably the only American black dude with an India shirt <laughs> with that on the back. In one of my most dire hours, police surrounded me. I had nothing to look for. In the to corner, me. too. Yeah. Yo, Mike, thank you for the gift. I remember seeing Nico pleading my case with the English police to let me go. I'm not gonna lie, he's actually a pretty good dude. Complete idiot streaking on the game, ruining the match. Bro, man. come on, man. It was just all Complete a good fun, idiot. bro. It was came just for fun, you, bro. Man. Why are you doing that? You're wrestling. Down, down. Bro, I'm, I came down here just to watch the game. Yeah, that's fair enough. And, and then he's just running on, on the pitch, just inter interfering. You'll be dealt with. If, if I go back to India, though, would I be able, be able to go to their game? You can ban him forever. I don't want to see him in a cricket match. That's all I need to know. I rep India. Thank you, guys. Subscribe to T-Series. He's getting away. What's his name? Jarbo. I was I was locked up for a good six to eight months, so I didn't have to compete in this. How do you get out of that? Series. What the fuck? Like I said, man, I came here to win. And I'll play around. This next one, for sure, gonna make him fold. Wait, we're like midway. So, Jay, I feel like you've had this one in the tank for a while. You be I'm lunging see, on that dick. Watch me because I visualized it. Bro, perfectly. what? Nico, he likes to put people in awkward situations, so. I'm gonna take a page out of his own book and put him in an awkward situation. I had him meet me at a random street in LA. Bro, it's a double header? Damn! That was in motion. Jid, Jid, Jid. So you got me here to walk. You couldn't just tell me to Uber to, straight to the suit shop. Nope. We're gonna go through the whole process together. Nigga well, says Spence a mill paying the cops. <laughs> you're gonna see if I get scared. <laughs> you, you're gonna guess it, but that's, that's the one right there. Yo, Jid had bro. Me walk around the streets what? for absolutely no reason. It was a good start and a reason why I hate that man. The baby right there is gonna tell you everything that we're about to do. Ma'am, it's time. Please have your baby tell him. <laughs> Damn. How do I look? You look great, man. So you're gonna tell me what we're doing yet? So Jade got me dressed up all nice. I had a nice little turtleneck. But my question was, what the hell did I need that suit for? Because he wasn't telling me. He was being very I would have had to make matters into my own hands and get that nigga Joe Biden to do a prisoner trade. I'm not gonna lie, bruh. Unless you have... <clears throat> chat, like, let's be honest, bro. Hey, Top, thank you for the resub. Crossfire, welcome back, man. Eight months. Appreciate you, my guy. Yo, I'll keep it a buck with y'all niggas, bro. If any one of us got captured in another country, it's over, all right? <laughs> we don't have enough leverage. Nigga, they're not gonna negotiate. You're an up. offline ERP demon. We saw you on Sheed's stream. You were at the hospital in your boxers with Maisie and Klaus. What? I wasn't ERPing. Bro, just watch Klaus's stream, nigga. I wasn't ERPing. No, 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 no. That's some horny shit, though. Uh, come on, bro. Don't accuse me of that, dog. No, we were just dumping through the trash, dog. We were trying to find a fucking toolkit. After you, nigga. Okay. Come on, man. Being kind of quiet. Why are you being so quiet? I can literally taste the fear off of Nico. But trust me, it's about to get a whole lot worse. I'll find the RP is, is actually yeah, insane. You a warning nigga, right bro. There. I'm not not I think about it. If you're not on stream and you ERP in GTA, that's insane. That is insane. I it just hit me. It just hit me if I was playing and y'all niggas wasn't here and I did that, it's because I just wanted to fuck virtually. That's insane. Oh my god, I just put my I, I would put myself love to in see that. Davis in leggings. I would pay to see him bent over with that fat ass of his. Oh, Mr. Dodds. And that's why Duke is number one, bro. So we walk into this theater, and the first thing that comes to mind 
is that this is some type of French TED talk because CEST is it is in French. What's wrong, bro? So what, what are we going to be talking about? Huh? Come on, nigga. What's so wrong? Oh my god. Hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, the man of the hour is here. This is the guy. Hey, man, how are this you? is the guy. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. I'm going to wire you up real quick. Do you know the topic of this, my friend? When I went on Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive, I was talking to him before the show, and he was telling me how he invited Nico on as well, but Nico didn't want to come because apparently he has a fear of talking for long periods of time, especially what? podcast. Then it hit me. If this man is afraid of talking on a podcast That's with three evil. other people, imagine making him go up on a stage and talk <laughs> to a crowd of tons of people about a horrific topic. So I set him up for a talk, a TED talk. I've heard on multiple occasions how you're not really well at public talking and everything. I don't like public talking. No. You don't. No, so don't. that's why I want you to get over that phobia, man. It's true. I don't like public speaking. Believe it or not, it's my biggest fear. And somehow, that's insane. she managed to find this out and use it as ammo against me. Out there, we have a group of people, and I have a presentation for you. And you don't have to go through the presentation and give a well delivered speech, <laughs> well thought out, and everything. So, it's presentation. <laughs> presentation. Okay, what's this presentation about? You'll figure out when you get out there, man. I mean, you saw the title of it. I think it's pretty self explanatory. But if you don't know, you'll see soon. He's probably in his head thinking, oh, I know about his deepest, darkest fears. Nico, I'm the biggest menace. I know everything. Is he all good? He's all good. It's all good. Good luck, Chad. Good luck, Chad. Nigga, did you slap ass before a fucking speech, Gideon? Why? It's not like a baseball game. This nigga just gripped his shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Give him one last thing to think about before he went on stage. Is this, is this French TED talk? Say talk. <laughs> I'm being dead ass, is it? When I went out there, my heart was racing. There were so many people, and I had no idea what I was even going to talk about. I see we've got a great audience, and my name is Nick Malana. I just want to introduce myself to you all, and we've got a nice talk going on today. So, uh, without further ado, should we get started? It means incest talk? Yeah. Good crowd. Good crowd. Sorry, sometimes there's a delay. All right, well. <laughs> I don't know if this was just a sick part of the prank, but the whole presentation wasn't working, which meant I was just stood there looking like an idiot. Ah, And I cringe. didn't know how to get it to start. Sometimes you've got technical difficulties, so. Can we get like a mechanic on the stage or am I just going to have to <laughs> keep pushing it? Sorry everyone, I don't really know what's going on. Just give me one moment please, okay? It's, it's not working my friend. Yeah, that was definitely part of the plan for the presentation to stop working. I'm the biggest menace. Sorry about that everyone. My apologies. Technical difficulties. It's my first show yeah. in LA. Okay. Today's TED talk is why incest should be legal. You guys just need to hear me out, all right? I'm serious. The first thing he wants me to do is <laughs> tell the world that I'm an incest, Donny. I hate that bald-headed prick. To this day, I can't believe it. Incest is the act of when an individual has hardcore, hot, steamy, intense, hardcore sexual intercourse with his or hers own family members. Like it or not, we are all collectively a byproduct of incest. Therefore, it is only natural that incest must be legal. Think back to your first kiss. It was probably with that one. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. There's one lady with a big smile on her face like, yo, I've been saying that, bruh. Like, I was just saying that last week, nigga, at the HOA meeting. Some cute guy or girl in the back of your seventh period math class. Mine, however, was with my cousin at the age of 14. All right. I think the worst part of the whole incest talk was the fact I was made to say vivid details of my own experiences. Whoever wrote that is some sick individual. They are ill and they need help. What's your cousin's name? You there in the pink dress. What's your cousin's name? You, do you have any cousins? You have plenty. So plenty of options. Ooh. <laughs> this nigga's going off script to make it worse for himself. Like, 
<laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Well, you wouldn't mess with that. Well, you'd be ha you'd have a lot more of an easy time finding like a significant other if you focus on your cousins, or in some cases, your brother. All right. Side oh my note. God. Can I get some water, please? Oh my That'd god, these parts! If I could get some water, my <laughs> hydrate this so thing, bro. So I asked for some water, and this was so inhumane. It it literally fell on deaf ears. No one wanted to help me. If not, no stress. All right, let's let's keep it going. Nigga really thinks that we're gonna help him out. No, we're here to watch you suffer. Adrian Houghton, a notable genetic professor, has proven that children who are born from a male and female outside of their family turn out to be lower quality form of human. He also. I'm not gonna lie, chat. She fucks brothers, sisters, cousins, guaranteed 100% locked and loaded. She has been dying laughing the whole time, bruh. She's been dying laughing the whole time. <laughs> that those who are born from the likes of incest naturally have a higher form of integrity. Am I winning anyone over so far? There we go, brother. What? Form of integrity. Am I winning anyone over so far? There we go, brother. Smart guy, all right? I was hoping for the audience to get up and stone him to death, really. Like, I want them to be completely disgusted. You know, some sicko that actually agreed with the things he was saying. We'll go, we'll, let's continue, let's continue. XXX rated videos has proven to leave a negative impact on the mind because of the false expectations that are broadcasted in these videos, all right? I have a four inch dick. But I'm okay. Oh, you gotta do it in burst chat, bro. It's tough to get to, bro. Oh shit. Fuck, Nico. You're not making this any easier for yourself, bro. Okay with that. And why am I okay with that, you ask? Because my sister perfectly accepts me for who I am down there. Four inches. <laughs> there was absolutely no reason for Nico to say that whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god. No more STDs. As a child growing up, my favorite NBA player was none other than Magic Johnson. So after I heard the news that he had contracted HIV, it broke my heart. My cousin had HIV. Your cousin? Yeah. Your actual family member? Yeah. Probably because she was sleeping with someone outside of your family. Sorry. It's called celibacy. Celibacy? Yeah. But why on earth would you, like, restrict yourself from the pleasures of life? I wouldn't want anyone else's stuff unless it's my family member. Ew. That's, even... That's not what? gross, it's literally That's natural. Weird. What? Did she argue against sex? <laughs> Did she just say why? <laughs> Ew, why would you want to have anyone's stuff all over you? Sex is so nasty. You could have cooties. Uh, imagine if you had cooties. Oh, I've never done that before. <laughs> what? what the fuck? How you think you ended up here, champ? Huh? You think you just appeared? She thinks she just spawned in her bedroom. Do you think you've got any family who have done that in the past? Maybe you should look at the mirror. Okay. I am openly saying what I am. I am I'm literally in a relationship with my sister. I have a four-inch dick. I am Hey, speak your this truth. This is the worst thing I've ever done. These people all passionately hated me. Why Except one nigga. Why do you all feel the need to speak on other people's lives? Why should I be breaking the law every time I sleep with my sister? Not decisively. Yo, I didn't even, hold on. I know I've been watching this the whole time. It just hit me. It's, it's dead ass illegal. That didn't even occur to me like a... That's nuts. That means these niggas is committing crimes to fuck their family. That is insane. Yo. No. That is, you know the dedication you had to have to something? Yo, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that. Well, I'm saying if I so chose to. Nico's making this way more difficult than it needed to be. I mean, all he has to do is just read the slides. Is he actually enjoying this and learning something new? Or is he just bugging out? I can't, I can't tell. <sighs> God. Anyways, this is when I realized incest was the only way to truly maintain a strong connection within our genetics. So, sorry, I didn't give you permission to speak. Let's keep this moving. 
Jid made this whole challenge that I had to stay in character. Isn't there so like I a... I become the incest man. But no matter how many times I press next slide, it was never ending. Society <laughs> would be much better and we would have a utopia if incest was legal. That is an image on the left. Traditional society all at war with each other. Like Mexico City, that's what it looks like that. And is, is, is incest legal in Mexico City? That's racist to say that Mexico City. That's not racist. That looks like that. It looks like shit. Yeah. That Ma'am, this looks like a fucking zombie apocalypse. Why are you... No. Why are you trying to make it in Mexico City? This it obviously is a zombie apocalypse. What the fuck? That is not racist to say that. How is that racist? Like that. There is no race. Ma'am, you haven't said shit about the incest so far. Are you standing up for Mexico City? What is wrong with her? How is that the part where they go, I just gotta say something? That's not Mexico City, bruh. No, okay, you're missing a point, nigga. It's like a zo Bro, look. Nigga, you think Mexico City looks like this? It's a zombie apocalypse, nigga. The point is it. If, if this was like a clean Mexico City where there wasn't trees and cars in the middle of the road with explosions and residue and destroyed buildings, you tell me Mexico City has this building right here looking just like this? Fuck, uh, nigga trying to tell me in the chat. That's not the point. It's just apocalypse utopia. I just broke down a meme to niggas, bro. I feel like I'm in a second grade classroom. Fuck! I feel like I'm in second grade right now. This is a meme, guys. This is one of those utopia memes, okay? On the left, traditional society all at war with each other. And is, is incest legal in Mexico City? That's racist to say that Mexico That's not racist. That looks like that. It looks like shit. Yeah. That is not racist to say that. How is that racist? We are not like that. There is no race. Nigga said, in that I see image. Sheed's house. He's just talking about society as a whole. America's like that. Okay. I am the last thing from racist. I am an ally of Mexican people. This stupid challenge was going to get me cancelled. And I just needed to stop because I wasn't coping very well. And there was just this one lady who had the biggest issue with me. Is there anyone here who wants to make a statement on that? Sorry. How horny are you? Horny? <laughs> like, why are you just thinking everyone has to have sex? No. I think the opposite. I don't think everyone should have sex. I think you should, uh, everyone in your family should have sex. With each other. So like, yeah. Child? Huh? Like, orgy child? That's disgusting. I mean, that's how I'm understanding it. That's not <laughs> No, I'm saying. Bro, what is wrong with this woman? I know what she's standing up for makes sense, but the way she's doing it is hilarious. She's like, no, 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 look, me and my dad, we're dumb close, but I just couldn't fuck him, though. Like, I just can't fuck him. Like, yo, what? <laughs> no, she has to be a plant. There's, like, no way this real human exists with these real thoughts. Why is she saying this? Obviously, obviously, the fact that you clarified, no, I don't think you're telling the truth anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, see, if I'm explaining wrong, then I apologize, all right? He does have a choice, but not every day. So only if he leaves one partner, he can then choose another partner. Anyone else agree what I'm saying? Sorry. You... Well, I wouldn't personally sleep with my father as I am not homosexual. But if I was, I would be open to the idea. I don't have any family member in this crowd. What? And I would rather keep what this in the, bedroom, in the bedroom. Why would I be up here they on don't this believe stage him. if I wasn't into it? Why would I be campaigning to get it legalized if I wasn't into it? Did you say anybody? Not everyone would be willing to um, get up on this stage. Let's keep going. I was making people uncomfortable getting called racist, but this is genuinely the worst thing that I had ever done. Personal disgust or religion is only a reason why one person would not want to personally engage in what I call consanagagamuri. <laughs> He's about to fumble. <laughs>
Nick's about to fumble. Jid has never said a word that big in his entire life. It's not in his vocabulary. So I don't know how it spawned into the slide in the first place. And the toughest part of all of it was composing myself so the crowd didn't think that I broke character. I didn't know what to do. So I pretended to cry. Are you fucking crazy? Okay, sorry. It's not, it's not nice to be on a stage and everyone think that you're some type of freak. I just want to be seen as a normal individual like everyone else. Yo, so this nigga's a psychopath. What the why? fuck? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Gaslight method. <laughs> Free conclusion. Can I get a final raise of hands for anyone who has learned a thing or two from this presentation? It had been an hour minimum and I was finally on the final slide. Somehow I managed to make it through this hell. It took a lot of research, courage, and thought for me to be able to present this proposal to the world. So I want to thank everyone here for taking their time of day, for allowing me to spread this message. Some of you have been horrible, but on the majority, some of you have been willing to listen. And again, I believe the world will be a better, bigger, and brighter place with the legalization of incest. So let's look towards the future and keep moving forward until that day happens. My God. Thank you. Man. Any questions? Seriously, how much did they pay you to like, actually believe what you were just talking about? I thought I put Nico through enough, so it was finally time to end his suffering. Actually, we didn't pay him anything. I've set this all up to see if he would fold, and he didn't. So give him a round of applause. <laughs> I've made it through the worst thing I've ever Holy, done. I, I couldn't, you. bro. If you couldn't get me to fold on this occasion, I don't see how I'm ever going to fold. I'm unfoldable. Oh my gosh. I am not an incest man. I Sadly, promise you. he doesn't believe in incest. <laughs> oh, that was painful. Sadly. And I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Bravo, Nico. I'm not gonna lie. I did not think he was gonna get past that. Me neither. But it's not just my videos. Nico's posting too, so be sure to go subscribe over to his channel and let's see what he got cooking for next week. One of Nico's signatures is that he sneaks into rain. That's me! So I was thinking, instead of doing some pussy YouTube boxing, why does he do something real? Are you scared? Yes, I am scared. With the task of actually having to do something in the ring. Me finding the shit. I know it was an easy fold. I'm telling you, there is no way I don't get in the ring. No way. It's not over yet. Is that a fold? We can end this now. <laughs> Ringside was returning. Bro, I just got the if goosebumps. This, this is the first video of the series that you've seen. Be sure to go check out episode one and two over on Nico Amalana's nah, channel. And then make sure you check movie, out episode four bro. on my channel where Nico made me look like Uncle Ruckus in front of a live studio audience. Trust me, it's a good one. Also, if you guys want a chance to win a PS5, make sure that you subscribe to me and Nico and follow us both on IG. Nah, this is the best thing out on YouTube right now. This is the best thing out on YouTube as we speak. Bro, that content is immaculate. Holy. No, that's good shit, man.